Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act pursuant to Public Law 1975. Said notice was advertised in the beacon and was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and place of the meeting. I'd like to stand, salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, first on the agenda in the caucus meeting, honoring a citizen. I'd like to call up Chief DeBella tonight. He has a presentation to make to one of our local residents this evening. Evening, Mayor Committee. Thanks for having me this evening. I have the distinct privilege to um, present a, a civilian award this evening from the Lacey Township Police Department. Um, before I do that, I just want to say, say a few things. So January 14th of this year, at about 11.30 at night, Danny Charcos and his mother Linda Charcos were at home at the residency on Fork River. To the point where Linda sort of having a lot of trouble breathing. She was in respiratory distress. Danny called 911. We remained online with the 911 operator. Um, and answered the questions that they had. Ultimately, the call was transferred to us here in Lacey, and Officers Barclow and Paul Desari responded to the residents, along with members of Lacey Township First Aid. I do have the captain here this evening, Ray, as uh, representative from the uh, First Aid Squad. Upon their arrival, they provided a pair of necessary repairs to Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're, we're doing our cop car program this year. Um, we're set to have a meeting officer day over at the middle school on okay. June 2nd. So this is a poster of all the cards. The three of us have, have signed our names to the back of the cards. Okay. And I, I hope that you would come on, on January, I'm correct, on June 2nd for meet the officer day so all the police officers here can sign this for From the committee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen. <laughs> Danny, on, on behalf of the committee, I, I want to congratulate you. I've known your mom and dad many, many years, and I know when, when you're a little tiny guy, you know, you, you know, you used to, you know, be very active at that point in time. But what you did that day had such an impact on not only your family but on the people in this community to see, you know, you stepping up and taking care of your mom like that. So. You did a wonderful thing. I know everybody here is very, very proud of you. Yeah. Anybody else? Steven? Peter? No, Dan, yeah, I just want to uh, yeah, uh, offer my congratulations, too. It's a, a, you know, an incredible thing you did. And I also want to just mention the teachers again to really uh, to drive home the 911 calls. Uh, very impressive. So thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Danny, like they say in baseball, and that's just a home run. I mean, you may well, you heard the chief, have saved a life. So uh, all the young people that are listening now in TV land, listen to the teachers. And I'm really appreciative of the teachers uh, bringing that message home from 911, because I, I am you know, you can't reiterate that too many times because you never know when you're going to need it. And uh, grateful for the teachers and grateful for Danny. So thank you and well-deserved award. Tim? Yeah, um, I just think that uh, extraordinary is a word that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, the, uh, it's a true sign of love when you do something like that. When you see somebody you love in distress, Things go through your mind, and, and sometimes you just panic. But for to pick up the phone and dial 911, stay on the phone so that our emergency people can get there and take care of the situation. That's just a sign of love. Thank you. Well, it leaves it up to me, <laughs> and I, I think uh, how I feel, Dan. You know how I feel toward you. I've known you a long time. I was lucky enough to have your mom to teach my children. Uh, to grow up and the rest of the teachers in Lacey Township. Thank you very much. Teaching uh, Dan that 911 saved a very important person in our life, uh, no doubt. Uh, she's been uh, a rock. We, we, we do things outside of everything, and, and I, I really appreciate your friendship. Uh, the Churcos family, there again, you should be proud. He's a fine young man. I've talked to him many times. Uh, 
We follow a little bit of the racing, right, Dan? Yeah. Right? We keep that Truax guy going down there in <laughs> Manahawkin, right? But no, thank you to all. Uh, the police department, there again, I say it from the heart, you know how I feel toward you. We got the best of the best here. There's no doubt in my mind. And the EMS, same thing. Uh, I, I'm so proud to be uh, your mayor and a township committeeman in this town. I, I really am. It, it touches me in everything you do. And I'll say it one more time. We do have the best of the best in Lacey Township. Nobody can compare to Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So where do you go after that? Another good one. Um, Eagle Scout. Second, we have on our thing is proclamation for an Eagle Scout. Okay. Kyle, would you like to stand up for us, please, at, at the microphone? Okay. Whereas the rank of Eagle Scout is one of the highest honors a member of the Boy Scouts of America can receive, and whereas only four percent of all Boy Scouts receive this honor. Whereas in order for Kyle Kimmel to receive this rank, he built and installed 12 bat boxes at the Ocean County and Shenandoah Parks in Lakewood, New Jersey, to increase the bat population and to provide natural pest control. And whereas Kyle Kimmel, his scouts and leaders of Boy Scout Troop 42 donated approximately 184 hours to complete the project. Whereas Kyle received donations from Home Depot, Square Deal, Mountain Mill Works, 84 Lumber, Tucker and Lumber, and Sharon, Sherman Williams. Whereas his efforts have been cited by the President of the United States, the Governor of New Jersey, the State Sem Senate, the General Assembly, and the Ocean County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Whereas the Mayor and Township Committee wish to commend and congratulate Kyle Kimmel on receiving this high honor. Whereas the Mayor and Township Committee would like this accomplishment and dedication of this young individual to be an example for all those involved in scouting and thank him for a project well done. Now therefore I, Nicholas Giuliano, Mayor of the Township of Lacey, on behalf of myself and the Township Committee, honor Kyle Kimmel for his outstanding accomplishments and encourage other scouts to follow in his example. Mayor, would you like to present? I'll, I'll say something. Kyle, let me, let me, let me congratulate you. Um, it's not an easy award, because I'm the father of an Eagle Scout. And I know, Mom and Dad, congratulations too. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. And just so that you know, Kyle, my son went into the Air Force. He immediately had a stripe on his arm, because they don't come to you to get out of uh, boot or camp. He got one, he actually had two when he came out with a little extra money. And we just got a uh, solicitation for a company to come in and do some work here in Lacey Township, a big company. And the biography of the president of that company at the very end, you know what he had down there? Eagle Scout. I'm telling you, that award is gonna open doors you can't even imagine gonna open for you. Take it proudly. Get that Eagle, you'll get an Eagle magazine, you can follow it. We, it comes to our house, I don't know why it comes to our house, but it does. <laughs> and you, it's amazing the people 
when the accomplishments that they, they've achieved in their life, and, and they, they all refer back to the Eagle Scout and the discipline and everything else like that. So I congratulate you. Kyle, I, I, I never reached that uh, level in, in scouting. Believe me, I'm, I'm standing here looking at all the badges you have, and I know how much work goes into each one. So it's it's a tremendous yeah, amount of work that you, you know, put in to accomplish what you've accomplished. Yeah. Uh, Timmy, I know, is so proud of his son, you know, with what he accomplished as a scout because he talks about it all the time, not only in these meetings, but, you know, outside with all the stuff that he's involved with. Uh, and it, it is truly something that, you know, not only yourself, but your folks have, have put in hours and hours and hours to accomplish. But, yeah, we're very, very proud of you. You know, we're, we're so fortunate in this town to have a lot of young men that come before us that, that you know, really stay with scouting. You know, we know the program is so good in this town, and, and they stay with it all the way through the process. And, uh, they, they go off, they, you know, they become very successful and, uh, you know, don't forget us, come back. You know, we, we need, you know, successful people here in town too in the future. So I wish you all the very best, but, you know, it's, it's a great, great accomplishment. Congratulations. So. Anyone else? Anybody yeah, else? I'm really, uh, every time we have a scout, uh, it, it never, ever gets old and you never take it for granted. Um, I think part of the reason that we have the caliber of young people we do in this town is because we have so many Eagle Scouts uh, and Girl Scouts as well. Uh, you all lead by example and then people I think start to emulate some of the things and some of the leadership that you display out and about the town. It's pretty emblematic when you look at all of our emergency forces and different people that have deep roots in this town. Uh, a lot of them you can trace back to scouting, and if not, if they weren't actually scouts, uh, then uh, they have the, the, the practices and they've internalized that, and they, they, they show it and they bring it every day, whether they're students or in the workforce or in, as Tim talked about in our military. So, so much to be proud of. We can't have enough scouts, and uh, I, I hold them in very, very high regard. I know how important your example is because the, the young people look up to you so thank you for what you did um, I like committeeman Quinn uh, didn't get as far as you and the scouts um, so I'm so glad that you did and God bless you and your parents as well thank you, thank you. yeah I'm just gonna echo the same those same comments you should all be very proud of your son and, and certainly the amount of time that you guys put in to, uh, to get him there it's a, a lot of time for the parents so congratulations all of you same here. Congratulations. Uh, I know you're going to do fine things in, in the years to come. And to your parents, thank you. I know it takes a lot uh, to do, but look at what you got. A fine young man. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Kyle, one last thing. How many merit badges do you have? He's running out of room on that thing. Out of, wow. how, out of how many? I think there's what, 120. There's all, yeah. So it's it's a, just I think it just exceeded. Uh, yeah, it's, and they're not easy to get. As you as, when you first get in there, they they're, they're kind of easy. You got to build a fire and set a camp and stuff like. But the ones as you get older, you move up, are a lot more difficult to get and take a lot more time. That's an amazing record. So you should be very proud of all those things. Thank you. Are those two gentlemen Jeremy, part of your yeah. troop? That's what I was going to say. No? No. Oh, oh. Really? Oh, okay. Are you here for to receive a badge tonight yourselves? Um for uh, no, you just Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. I commend you for that. Or one of the merit badge requirements probably. So exactly it's right. <laughs> US, US government, yes. Well it was a good night to attend, obviously. Yeah. You see what your future holds then. Right. Best of luck to you guys. Did a great job. Sure. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, three. three. Request to post signs, Rotary Club of Forkett River. As you all know, the Rotary Club is hosting their annual doggy derby event on the Jones Road mm -hmm. fields um, on June uh, 3rd, and they are looking to post signs throughout the community one week in advance of the event. I just need a motion authorizing the approval of that. Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Right. I have nothing else to add on to this agenda. Does anyone else? Yeah. You two gentlemen, what, oh, troop, what, troop, what troop are you from? Oh. And how far along are you guys? I'm Mike. I'm also Mike. Oh, refresh me. How much many more steps to Eagle? Well, that's the last one. Last one. Oh, so you'll be here in the near future? Yes. Did you pick projects yet? Yeah. Good. Uh, what are your projects? I'm doing benches over at Cloverdale Park in uh, 
Okay. We could use some bat houses in th throughout some of our parks because some of them have them now. <laughs> and it really is good for the mosquito population. And Kyle can good. show you how. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you guys nothing but the best of luck and same yeah. to you, Kyle. All right, now we can um, motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn this meeting. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we can go right into township. We can go right into township. If any of you like to leave, you may leave mm -hmm. now. We won't keep you all evening. Good luck, Kyle. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that was it tonight. Okay. I'm afraid of bats. You're afraid of bats? Well, it's a reptile. <laughs> but it does help with the mosquito population. Okay. I don't have mosquitoes where I live, so I don't want to worry about it. Then you don't have bats. That's what they eat. Yeah, but they I didn't know they were going to pull the before you leave, Peg. <laughs> I knew it. He's going to embarrass you. This is me. Today, uh, usually I don't do this, but today is a very special day for me. Uh, today is my wife's birthday. She's 60 years old. That's all right. But I have to tell you this, and I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. You don't look nowhere near 60. <laughs> my God. That's right. And also, May 28th, we'll be married. Uh, 40 years. <laughs> and, and, and Thank you. Marie, did you have a comment? Yes, I have a comment. I'm the mother of that <laughs> And there's no way she could be 60 then. I don't know how then. she got to that age. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. 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 Thank Congratulations. Good night, Peggy. Happy birthday. Okay, we're ready. All right. <laughs> Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act pursuant to public law of 1975. Said notice was advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the Beacon and was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and the place in the meeting. I'd like to have a salute to the flag in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, first reading of Ordinance 2018-13, amending Chapter 323, Vehicles and Traffic, so as to amend Section 323-39. In order to the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 323 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Vehicles and Traffic, so as to amend Section 323-39, F entitled Control for the Movement and Parking of Traffic on Public and Private Property. Uh, a few, several weeks ago, we had changed the name of, I'm going to call it Gilly Park Access Road or Headquarters Lane to R. Kennedy Boulevard. And there was other sections in the code book that, that um, referenced uh, Gilly Park Access Road that we now need to properly correct and change it to the proper street name. So that's all this ordinance is doing tonight. Let's move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. First reading of Ordinance 2018-14, authorizing the financing of the 2018 capital improvements, equipment, and projects. In order to the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, providing for various capital improvements and the acquisition of various capital equipment, appropriation, appropriating $1,910,000, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $1,423,100 in bonds and notes of, to finance a portion of the cost thereof. I'm going to go over the um, uh, items that we are looking to purchase this year. It will be an acquisition of a fire truck for the Harbor Fire Company, a first responder vehicle for the Lacey EMS. Um, the total cost would be $657,000 of that. Um, acquisition of three non-passenger public safety vehicles, including their radios and all appropriate equipment. Purchase of a public works dump truck with a tailgate spreader and snow plow. Uh, milling and paving of Lakeside Drive East. Um, a portion of that is a uh, DOT municipal aid grant. Replacement of the South Dock bulkhead at the end of the street there that abuts to Lakeside Drive East. 
engineering for the Railroad Avenue South extension, acquisition of uh, easements for the Lake Barnegat Drive and Haines Street traffic lights, uh, inspections for the dam safeties. We have three high hazard dams that are due for um, inspection this year. Engineering and permitting for the remainder of the South Dock bulkhead. Replacement of the generator at the municipal building. We did receive the generator for free from the law enforcement surplus funds, uh, but we do need the engineering and any uh, mechanicals that need to be hooked up for that, so that's um, $30,000. Acquisition of a uh, vehicle for the administration department, a pool car vehicle, and a vehicle for the tax assessor's office. Those are our capital items this year that we need to bond for. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. <coughs> Second reading of Ordinance 2018-09, authorizing the Municipal Cap Bank. In order to the Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap bank in accordance with NJSA 48 colon 4 45.14. Open second. Uh, second reading, open to the public. Seeing none, make motion, motion to close the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion on you. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Uh, second reading of Ordinance 2018 11, amending Chapter 261, Parks. In ordinance of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 261 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Parks. This is just restructuring the payment for the summer rec program. We're rolling the entire, instead of having three separate fees throughout the summer, we're rolling the entire fee into one fee of $130. Move it. Second, Second reading, open it up to the oh, public. Say no, make a motion to close the public. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion on the ordinance? Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Who seconded that? Mr. Kennis. Oh, Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtola? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Second reading of Ordinance 2018 12, amending Chapter 273, Property Maintenance. In order to the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 273 of the Township Code entitled Property Maintenance so as to amend Section 2, Abandoned and Vacant Properties. This is relating to those properties that are uh, in list pendants or going through foreclosure that have been abandoned and are not being properly maintained. There is a registration fee that the mortgage companies and banks now have to um, abide by here at the township effective July 1st. The first year registration fee is $750 and subsequent years is $1,000 per year until those properties are turned back over and um, I'm gonna use the word flipped to um, residential units. And again, there could be other um, summonses and items issued on those properties for failure to properly maintain the, the, those uh, residences. Second reading, I'd like to open it up to the public. Seeing none, I make a motion to close the public. Come on. Second. All in favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 Motion on the ordinance? Move it. Or second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. And Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Resolution 2018-128, authorizing the reading of the budget by title. Resolution attached to Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the reading of the budget by title only. So this evening we have the budget to present to us. Um, as you know, our general um, for appropriations for municipal purposes is at $30,573,650. The reserve for uncollected taxes is at $1,078,350. Total general appropriations is $31,652,000. The anticipated revenues is $17,258,000. The amount needed to be raised uh, by taxes for support of the municipal budget is $14,394,000. Ms. Cabello, do you have anything else to add with regards to the budget before we open the floor to public hearing? I'd just like to say we're adopting on time within CAPS again uh, this year's 2018 budget um, with an increase about $1.1 million over last year's. Um, for you, the taxpayers, you're supporting this budget with a tax levy of $14,394,000 with the rest being from state aid and local revenue. So what that means for you, um, the average assessed home, which is about $276,700, will pay an extra $48 annually. So it's about $12 in your tax bills. So that's what you need to know. Can I have a motion, motion on? on the resolution? Yeah. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Kurgatolo? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Now I'd like to open the floor for public comments on the municipal budget. Seeing none, motion to close the floor. Second. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 And now we can go to the next resolution. 
Resolution 2017-129, adopting the 2018 municipal budget. Resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the adoption of the local municipal budget of the Township of Lacey for the fiscal year 2018. And as those numbers that I previously read, general appropriations for municipal purposes, $30,573,650. Reserve for uncollected taxes, $1,078,350. General total general appropriations thirty one million six hundred fifty two thousand less anticipated revenues of seventeen million two hundred fifty eight thousand amount to be raised by taxes for the support of the budget fourteen million three hundred ninety four thousand and we have already received the seal of approval from the state they have reviewed it and they authorized us to proceed tonight move it second Mr McDonald yes Mr Curatolo yes Mr Kennis yes Mr Quinn yes Mayor Giuliano yes resolution twenty eighteen dash one thirty appointing a school crossing guard. Resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, appointing a substitute school crossing guard for the Township of Lacey. Uh, and we are appointing Joseph McKeever. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Resolution 2018-131, authorizing the receipt of bids for the 2018 capital projects. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County, Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing receipt of bids for various infrastructure projects, parks improvements, facility improvements, vehicles and equipment in accordance with the approved 2018 capital budget for the Township of Lacey. And those items that we will be potentially going out to bid for this year is the acquisition of a fire truck, first responder vehicle, three Ford Explorers for the police department, one 2018 or newer Peterbilt or approved equal for the Public Works Department, milling drainage and paving of Lakeside Drive East, South Dog bulkhead replacement, one two 2018 or newer Ford Explorer, and two 2018 or newer Ford Escapes. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Resolution 2018-132, canceling taxes due to a 100% disabled veterans exemption. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the tax collector to cancel 2018 taxes due on a property granted to 100% disabled veterans exemption and refund the resulting credit balance. This is on block 1640.02, lot 7. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Resolution 2018-133, authorizing the refund of deposits. Resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the refund of deposits held for the use of municipal facilities. Move. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kenneth? No, with noted abstention? No. Mm -hmm. For the deposit one? Uh, no, no. Just for the payment it's on check bills. Okay. okay. And Mr. Yes. Quinn and Mr. Yes. Kenneth, Mayor Giuliano? Yes. yes. Resolution 2018-134, authorizing the payment of township bills. Resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the payment of township bills in the amount of $1,037,777.62. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes, but I will stay on H2746. 746. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curatolo? Yes, with abstention on T0035. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Motion to approve caucus meeting minutes of April 12, 2018. Moment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve township meeting minutes of April 12, 2018. Move it. Well, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve membership in the Fork and River Fire Company from Mark Johnson, Jr. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve membership in the Bamber Lakes Fire Company for Rihanna. Rihanna Mendez. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve raffle license amendment for the Women's Club of Lacey. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you have an add-on? I have an add-on. I, I forgot to put this on the agenda, and I apologize. It's Resolution 135. It's a resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, provisionally appointing Patricia Reavy to the position of Assistant Municipal Treasurer. Our former Assistant Treasurer um, has left, and we have been on about a four-week search for a new one, a new person, and we have found Ms. Reavy, who will meet our qualifications um, immensely. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. All right. That's all I had to add on this evening. That's all. Mm -hmm. uh, comments from the committee? Deputy Mayor McDonald? Thank you, Mayor. Um, I guess the first one would be the 
had the privilege to attend the uh, opening of Little League down there in Clune Park. Um, that's always a lot of fun, those smiling faces and those kids with great dreams. Um, and I had a good time. I noticed that the mayor threw a strike. Uh, yeah. You know, you caught the outside corner, though, mayor. You caught the outside corner. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Look at that. <laughs> go from there. I think maybe um, they better sign me a contract. There right? you go. There you go. Um, the other thing is uh, the, summer, the, the, the summer camp's going to open up, and we just took care of that. Uh, get the registration in today because it's $130 up until, I think, the first day of camp, and then it goes up significantly because um, we have over 700 kids that attend our summer camp. Um, substantial changes have been made. Um, and so when they come in late, I mean, you can imagine the organization it takes to take care of 700 kids for the summer. Uh, and you come in late, it's going to cost you a little bit more money. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about the budget tonight. You know, you come in here and we spend $31 million, and you go, wow. Then you realize what we've done and all the things that we're doing and, and the equipment that we've got to replace and so forth like that. And you go, all right, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. Um, but I can honestly tell you, this was uh, this is a tough budget. Um, we worked hard on it. The mayor led us on this. And we all we didn't agree on everything, that's for sure. But we came to a, we came to a, a conclusion, and we went forward with this. And, and I think uh, we're going to commit a what, one one what, penny and a half. Penny. Yeah. A, pe a penny, penny, a penny and a half on that. So um, that's that's really really good. So uh, that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Committeeman Quinn. Thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, just uh, re, uh, repeating what Timmy was talking about with the budget, uh, it's, it's always very involved when you get involved in uh, putting a budget together for, you know, a town of this size, and I've, I've been doing it for a lot of years. Uh, and this, like Tim said, we, we, we hate to have to raise taxes, but unfortunately with a lot of contractual obligations we have and, and uh, health insurance and everything, it's, it's always something that you try to minimize as much as you can. Um, you know, penny and a half is, you know, it's an impact, but it's it's a minimal impact as far as you know uh, overall tax increases that we've seen in the town over the years. So uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, but I want to you know certainly give special thanks to our you know, CFO Linda here. Um, you know Linda was was working diligently right up until the day we introduced the budget because the state made a lot of changes this year, and unfortunately with the changeover in trend with the uh, new governor. A lot of the information that she needed to formulate the budget wasn't coming through, so it was a, a tremendous amount of extra work for Linda and her office. So you, you, know, you deserve a tremendous amount of thanks and you know, congratulations, great book, great job done. Uh, but also Veronica, I know you're in on all those conversations along with the mayor. Uh, so you know, to both of you, on behalf of the rest of the committee, you know, we want to thank you, you know, all three of you for doing the job that you did. Uh, you know, as Timmy mentioned, uh, sporting uh, groups in town, all the kids are starting to you know get involved in their sports. Uh, you know, we had I know it was softball. Uh, baseball, you know, we've been attending different things. Uh, soccer's kicking in, lacrosse is kicking in, uh, and the you know the kids are all thrilled. You know, fortunately, it looks like as of today, the weather might start working in our favor for the kids to be able to get out there and not freeze to death on those fields. But um, you know, they, it's it's a good time of year. It's a it's a really a lot of fun. You know, to see all the parks starting to be used again. Uh, but I want to give special thanks, and you know, the mayor can bring our thanks back to the uh, public works department for. You know, all the work they did in getting the fields done because you know this year was a very odd year where they weren't able to get out there early and start getting the fields cleaned and mined and uh, ready for the kids to start so they worked a lot of extra hours uh, right before the opening days over the last two weeks and they, they certainly uh, you know made the parks look as good as they do every other year and, and you know, we're very happy to see that you know being that the weather was such a detriment this year so uh, mayor on you know on behalf of the committee maybe you could extend our thanks to you know public works and uh, you know, Dan McGill, our director back there. The only other uh, comment I want to make is with regards to um, the, the, the police department, you know, Chief was here tonight, uh, with regards to school uh, security and, and stuff that's going on over at the schools. Uh, I know I've mentioned it before over the last couple of meetings how there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes when it comes to the um, you know, schools upping the security that they have throughout the buildings. Uh, the Chief and I have had meetings. We had a meeting yesterday over at the schools. and. There's a lot of stuff being done behind the scenes. There's a lot of new things being put into place to make sure that, uh, you know, the children and the staff in our, our school districts are safe and that, you know, God forbid we ever have a catastrophe, that it'll be able to be handled, you know, very well. Um, I know the, the Alice tr uh, training program we had uh, a week and a half ago over at the high school, you know, was a program put out for the parents to kind of see what the staff is going through. Uh, was very successful. The school was very happy with the turnout as well as the police department. 
uh, and it's if you're not familiar with it, it's a program that the schools are, are that the police department and the, the district is really teaching all the staff in order to take and protect the kids in the situation. God forbid there's a, ever an active shooter situation, uh, and it's it's going to give the staff a lot more ability to react as opposed to just going into classrooms and locking down the kids in the classrooms. Uh, we had this week we had um, folks from Homeland Security going through all of our buildings in the schools. Uh, looking at doors, looking at windows, looking at everything that we have that could possibly be a problem if the, any of these situations ever came up. So I uh, have to, uh, you know, thank uh, you know Chief DeBella and uh, you know Superintendent Wigley, you know, because they've been working great as a team, uh, going through these different items and, and making sure that the um, number one priority, you know, for for the uh, town, not only the township but for the schools, you know, combined, are the safety of our staff and our kids in the schools. So. Uh, you know, we're not we're not going to get into the details of all the you know specifics because we certainly don't want to put that out there. But I have to tell you, you know, working with the chief as liaison, I, I've seen firsthand a lot of stuff going on, which is all very positive stuff. So, thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Emma. Yes, you are. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Ken. Um, uh, yeah, um, we all, all five of us attended the <coughs> Little League uh, first pitch ceremony, but I think next year I'm going to try and petition them to have a home run derby. So, the budget is always very challenging, and I also want to thank Linda for all the hard work she did on the budget. Um, I was going to talk about COA tonight, but I because uh, Howell settled settled one of their COA obligations, but. I, Every time I read an article about the economy in New Jersey, other towns, it, I, I'll just depress everybody in the whole room. So I'm going to keep the comments to myself. That's going to keep it to myself tonight. So that's all the comments I have, Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> Hello. Mayor, thank you, and good evening to everyone in attendance. Um, I've often said up here, budgets are difficult things. If I had my druthers, I'd uh, treat it like my household and uh, have a pay-go system rather than have to bond for anything. It's just not reality. Uh, we have needs and we have uh, services that we want to offer for our people, uh, many and varied services. That unfortunately comes with a cost, but it goes to the quality of living that we have here. Um, and I think the quality of living is, is a great one in this township. Uh, when you look at our parks and uh, our services, our employees, all of our employees, uh, they make it that way. And there's a, a lot of people that choose to live here. There's a lot of businesses that make Lacey Township a choice destination that you don't see in some other municipalities. So I'm very proud of that as well. Um, I don't think that's by accident. I think that's by design. I'd like to dovetail on a few things that Committeeman Quinn had said. Uh, I was in attendance at the uh, Alice training about a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, more Alice presentation for school safety. I, I could tell everyone in attendance, I, I, I've been involved in, in some of the, uh, the drills at the county level. Uh, I could tell everyone here that as children in the school or employees or loved ones in the schools, and, I, and certainly I'm not going to take a deep dive into it, but uh, the amount of brain power uh, that was up there that night from the uh, superintendent to all the school administrators, assistant principals, teachers, there's no shortage of about 700 people that are either involved in some level of that training or completed that training. This training is not haphazard, it's evidence-based. So it has borne fruit already as a result of some of these other tragedies we've witnessed around the country take place with un uncomfortable regularity, unfortunately. But I could, I could tell you that, you know, when you look at Lacey Township, um, in particular our schools and our police department, there's a lot to be proud of. There is uh, so much going on. Frankly, there's there's likely items going on that uh, aren't even released to us, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. So Committee and Quinn referenced Homeland Security. Uh, I believe FBI uh, had some input in there as well. And, and, and there's what we call AARs, after action reports, when some of these tragedies happen around the, the country, and we learn from them. Yes, there's a loss of life, but we learn from them. And I can tell you, uh, we're being very progressive here with uh, school safety in Lacey Township. Which takes me to my next point. I often, people hear me, I often compliment a lot of our employees. And in particular, I, I, I want to shed uh, some light on our police department tonight. And the traditional role of the police officer, uh, I think, has gone by way of the dinosaur. Police are asked to not only be an enforcement component now, 
Uh, there has to be counselors throughout day-to-day -day operations. There has to be educators. We have a police department that's vested in prevention for alcohol and drugs. We have a police department uh, that deals with social hosting. Uh, parents of course lose the most and different, you know, acting out on different ordinances that we have in this town. Um, we have police that act as first responders sometimes. So there, there's a, a variety of roles and I want our um, residents to know uh, that there's no shortage of, of, of public safety initiatives and a lot of them are paid for by grants at no direct cost to the taxpayer and that's through Division of Highway and Traffic Safety in Trenton. All of our um, department heads have been very above board in their efforts in going out and garnering those grants, whether it's for, uh, you know, different parts, fire engine over the years and years past, or initiatives like click it or ticket, you text, you drive, you pay, uh, diff different initiatives. And, we, and, and going right into each and every department, way too many to talk to you about in just short committee comments. Uh, recreational opportunities for individuals with dis disabilities, ROID grant from uh, actually our deputy mayor is uh, the liaison over there at recreation. So there, there is a lot going on and, and the town is kept beautiful by our Department of Public Works. So I, I just wanted people to know about some of those things. I'll close with a, um, a note on myself. I'm looking forward to uh, presenting a safety uh, program with Lieutenant Sullivan at the high school. That will take place on May 3rd. That's part of what I do is uh, a responsibility with the County of Ocean at the Health Department. So I, I like to and get out and engage the different high schools, and certainly home base is one of them. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be a panel speaker at OCC Kane at the annual uh, Drug Summit uh, this past week. Uh, prosecutor's office was there <coughs> many chiefs from around the county were there uh, the amount of work that's doing done uh, that's being done here in Ocean County with prevention enforcement and education and different departments really holding their own in all three and stepping out of like I said earlier traditional roles uh, is certainly a lot to be proud of we have an opportunity to watch that please try to and just want to hope, hope to welcome spring. Maybe we can do a proclamation to welcome spring and say goodbye to the snow <laughs> once and for all, Mayor. Let's so, not jinx it. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Um, uh, I'd like to touch on something I forgot to do before. Uh, as we honored Dan Cherkos uh, for the award, um, Kim Halfrock, which was a, another teacher at the school, she's the one that brought it to our attention, and uh, I forgot to thank her. I apologize for that, so I hope when she watches this on TV, she can see it, because she was a big part of influence to have this done, uh, along with the rest of the teachers. Um, leading into that, Monday night, I had the honor to attend the Elks Americanism Award. Um, I was able to hand out all the awards. We had. Uh, they did essays. There was over 800 applicants, and, uh, essays, and what it was on was veterans are our heroes. Why? We listened to all of the essays uh, that the three, we had three from Mill Pond and three from Middle School. Uh, the fantastic writings, I asked for copies of them so I can give them all to the committee, which they will be getting to me. Um, it was unbelievable uh, what the teachers give upon these children to write these things that were in this essay, it, would, it really touched us and, and I really enjoyed it. So I, I'd like to thank the parents, the teachers, and of course uh, the Elks. Uh, we know what they do in town and to honor these children and give them the uh, awards that they did and they had gift cards for them and everything, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, opening day, uh, as everybody spoke up here on, on here, that. Uh, it was great for both the Little League and girls softball. Unfortunately, uh, I just made it in the nick of time. I did not realize that girls softball, uh, Committeeman Quinn showed up late too while we were just getting, they were getting onto the field. It was supposed to start at 10.30, but instead it started at 10 o'clock, so. But we made it in time. Um, the Alice program, as they spoke to at the high school, I just want to uh, thank both the uh, Board of Education and Lacey Township Police Department for their hard work on that program. It's an excellent program. Um, that's about it. My last thing I would like to leave is uh, I would like to thank 
uh, Linda and Veronica for the hard work on the budget. I, I know it takes up a lot and, and you did an excellent job. Uh, we were all happy to be involved, but, uh, and I'll say this uh, freely, there's always be time a successful committee is successful woman and in your job. I have to say that. Uh, that's what it is and you, you did a fine job, great job, all the time, all year long, 12 months a year. Uh, that's all I have. I'd like to open the floor to the public. Regina DeSanza, Sunset Drive, Sunrise Beach. Um, it's come to my attention that the caregiver volunteers of Central Jersey need volunteers in Forked River and uh, Lenoka Harbor again. And they're celebrating a quarter century of helping the elderly and the homebound. Um, they offer many services at no cost and there is no income qualification. Anyone can call and either receive a volunteer or become a volunteer and they do all the training for people to go out and they have an Alzheimer's respite care program a caregiver canine program, connection through music, multicultural outreach, and a veterans outreach support group. Um, it's a very worthwhile um, group to volunteer with. They're at Tom's River, and their phone number is 732-505-2273, and just call Fran and um, either offer your services as a volunteer to become one, or if you need assistance, they help any homebound elderly in this community, and they've been very helpful to many, many seniors in Ocean County over the last 25 years. So it's a very worthwhile organization to call. Give me, just give me the phone number one more time. Yes, 732, uh -huh. Tom's River, 505-2273. And I know they've assisted many people in our community, and they've been very helpful to me as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? You have to raise that mic. I know we can Better raise that one up. That. Yeah, just a little bit of a difference. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Good. Jesse Good. Armstrong, Buttonwood Drive. Uh, how long are those trucks going to be parked in Gilly Park for? like the oil trucks and stuff. Okay, they, they've been relocated due to the fact that there's some road construction going on in Municipal Lane and there was some, um, as they opened up the road, they found other conditions that existed with some of the piping. So right now we ordered, in, they, the pipe and stuff has been ordered, waiting for it to come in. We thought it was going to be about a four week project. We're probably looking like at more like eight weeks. So you're looking at probably another five to six weeks that those trucks will be displaced around the area here. And then they will be relocated back to the normal parking area. Well, I mean, you guys talk about sports starting up and stuff like that. We're sure. well aware of that, and we're trying to relocate some of them. Um, the drivers mm -hmm. are being uh, assisting us and helping out. Um, some of them uh, don't want to park them where they're not able to be watched because they're afraid of vandalism and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we are working with them and they're working with us and we are trying to relocate some of them because there are a lot of kids in that area now in the parks. Right. Uh, they are getting the product in as fast as they yeah. can to get it in here so they can finish it. It's good to hear, it's good to hear. Um, you said we're doing, you're doing three dams as capital projects? As we're not doing the three dams. It's the, the uh, bi, uh, biannual, uh, I should say every two years we have to inspect Expected. the dams and that's what we're under. We're under an inspection year. And based on those inspections, if there's any repairs that have to be done because they're high hazard dams, we will then have to make those repairs you know, within a certain time frame. We're not, we're not making any repairs at this point. It's the inspection to determine if there's any deficiencies in those dams. So if the inspector comes in and tells you that the dam is no good, which Bamber dams? Well, Bamber dam's not included in that, and Bamber right. dam is not a high hazard dam. It's Lake Barnegat. And it's uh, the Deerhead and Mill Pond. So we just let the Bamber Dam fall apart? That is incorrect. I didn't say that. I have a application in with, uh, excuse me for saying this, Dam Safety. That's the name of the agency <laughs> at the state um, for a loan. And we have been received permission uh, and granted the loan. I'm just waiting for the federal government to fund it to the state and the state to fund it to us. And it's uh, about $1.1 million in a low interest loan that we received to redo Bamber Dam. But again, Bamber Dam is not a high hazard dam, so it doesn't fall under those inspections either. Right, but I mean, I only know because uh, Bamber residents feel uh, 
forgotten, I would say forgotten. They're definitely not forgotten. I'm just waiting for the state to tell me we received the money so that we can go out and uh, solicit bids and do what we need to do to repair that dam. We, we also set up a meeting next week with all of the members out in Bamber. Oh, nice. So we're going to make them well aware of what's going on and their concerns. Can, we're going to listen to them and, and we're going to take care of what we need to take care That's of. That's awesome. Yeah. We're not, we never forget Bamber. We never forget anybody in this town. Jeff. Yeah, I just told them uh, I would bring it up. Yeah. And this is the first nope. meeting I've been here this year. Yep. I uh, appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Seeing none, motion to close the floor. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 I just need to do the resolution authorizing the meeting of execution. Yeah. Okay. A resolution 2018 136, resolution of the Township of Lacey County, Bush State, New Jersey, authorizing the meeting of executive session to discuss contractual matters, anticipated and matters of um, real estate. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Giuliano? Yes. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. We will not be coming out with um, any further business this evening.